Hi everyone. Well today I'm going to show you how to plant a kitchen herb garden with six perennial and cool season herbs that you can grow during the winter time in southern climates and some of them you can even grow indoors in winter in northern more colder climates. Now I'm very excited to plant a kitchen herb garden. First of all what is a kitchen herb garden? It's simply a garden that's right outside your kitchen door for easy access to come out and snip and clip your herbs to throw into cooking. And why is it so much fun to grow an herb, herb garden? Herbs add so much flavor to your food. They can turn a very ordinary bland dish into a dish that has so much flavor and garden fresh pop to it, you're gonna absolutely love it. So we're gonna plant our herb garden right here, which is right outside my kitchen. Come on with me and I'll show you how easy it is to grow herbs in your garden. You don't need a ton of space to grow herbs. I'm gonna plant my herb garden right here in this two by, it's maybe an eight foot garden bed, but you don't need one near that large. You can definitely get away with like a two by four space or a two by two space, depending on how many herbs you want to grow, or you can even grow them in containers. They're perfect for containers on your deck or patio, or even to grow inside in the winter. All the herbs we're gonna be planting today grow well in, the, in cool weather, that's 75 degrees or under, and some of them will even take a light frost. So let's go ahead and get the garden bed ready, and then we'll get to planting some herbs. First, what I'm gonna do is just do a little garden bed prep here. Just gonna lightly loosen up the soil, and then we're gonna to need to add some amendments to the soil because your soil does get depleted, and it needs some extra food so that your herbs grow nice and productive, and you have plenty of herbs to snip into your meals. So just lightly loosening this up. And I'm gonna use a rake just to kind of break up some of the chunks. I had drip irrigation hoses in here, which I did go ahead and remove before doing this. And we'll go ahead and put those back in at the end so our herbs get a good amount of water. So we're gonna add some extra nutrients here in here. And for this, I'm gonna use the Good Dirt Soil Conditioner, which has some really great plant food that will really help the herbs take root and thrive. Now the great thing about Good Dirt is the soil conditioner goes a long way. So you just need a little bit, a couple inches over the top of the garden bed. Then we'll work it in with a pitchfork. We'll use about a half a bag in this two by eight garden bed. A little bit really does go a long way and will really help your herb garden thrive. I'm also gonna throw some compost into the mix here. Now I don't have a ton of compost right now, but you can definitely make compost for free right in your own backyard. And, but I'll go ahead and add that in here too. Mix it in with my pitchfork, the top few inches of the soil. If your soil is super, super dry, you wanna go ahead and moisten it at this point. Now adding in compost and the Good Dirt Soil Conditioner will also help aerate the soil. Herbs like nice, well-drained soil. So this will definitely help break up the chunks and help your soil be so much more productive for your herbs. The garden bed is prepped. I love the look of the nice dark soil. Can't wait to get the herbs planted, but first I'm gonna go ahead and put my drip irrigation back in the garden bed. You don't have to use drip irrigation, but it definitely does help take the guesswork out of how much and when to water. And it really helps me have a much more productive garden. So you can go back and watch my video on that. I'm just gonna go ahead and string it through the garden bed and then attach it in with landscape staples. There are an endless variety of herbs that you can plant in your garden, but the six varieties we're gonna to plant today are some of my favorites and generally fall into three main categories. Perennial, which come back year after year. Biennial, which grow for two years, and on the second year they flower and go to seed. And then annual, which you plant a fresh crop of those each year. So first off, we're gonna plant our perennial herbs that come back year after year. Now perennials do need a lot of space. So I'm gonna plant some right here in the corner that kind of fill in this empty spot here, which I think will look really, really pretty. And the two that I chose to plant here in my kitchen herb garden are rosemary and thyme. Extremely aromatic, flavorful herbs. They're so delicious over chicken, fish, mixed into soups and stews. You're gonna love having rosemary and thyme in your kitchen herb garden. So first off, we're gonna, pot, we're gonna plant this rosemary plant. Now rosemary and thyme, you can grow them from seed, but they're very difficult to germinate, take a long time to germinate, and I find it just easier to pick up a plant from the garden center, or they also will propagate or grow roots from cuttings. So if you have a friend with some rosemary or thyme, ask them if you can have a little sprig, root it in some water, and then you can get it planted in your garden and not have to spend any money doing it. So first we're going to dig a hole here for my rosemary plant. 
and pop it right in here. Now rosemary can also gr be grown as a shrub. It can get quite large. Or you can keep it pruned down to a nice small size or you can grow it in a container in your house. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a scoop of Vermisterra worm castings to my planting hole. I like to add a little bit extra just to help the roots get off to a really good start. And Vermisterra worm castings keep your plants really healthy because they have all those beneficial bacteria and microbes in it. So we're gonna go ahead and get our rosemary in. And we'll just take it out of my little Smart Pots transplanter here. Now, rosemary is perennial to zone seven and higher. Now, if you don't know what your USDA hardiness zone is, it's a good idea to know that when you're a gardener. But basically what that means is if you are in zone seven or higher, rosemary will be a perennial, grow over the winter time, and it won't die back during the cold weather. So basically when you go higher in growing zones, you have warmer winter weather. So we just went ahead and took this out of the transplanter, popped it in here between my drip irrigation hoses. Now rosemary is pretty drought tolerant, so it doesn't need a ton of water. So if you live in an area like I do here in Southern California, where you don't get lots of rain, rosemary is a great herb for you to grow. So it looks pretty small now, but believe me, rosemary can grow quite large and you can keep it pruned back to manage the size for whatever space you're growing in. Next, we're gonna plant thyme. I absolutely love growing thyme. It's super, super hardy, even hardier than rosemary. And it grows as a perennial in zones five and higher. So even if you live in some of those cold winter climate areas, thyme is gonna be a great herb for you to grow. It does tend to be much more low growing than rosemary. It likes a lot of space to spread out. It's even nice to grow in walkways or as a little spiller plant over some garden beds. And there are a ton of different thyme varieties. Here I have a woolly thyme and an English thyme. So we're gonna plant two different varieties. I'm just gonna plant, break the plants apart. It's very similar to rosemary in that it's really hard to germinate from seed. So either pick up some uh, plants from your garden center or again, it'll propagate from cuttings. So borrow a cutting from a friend. I'm just gonna break the plants apart here. It's very hardy, so don't be afraid to rip the plants apart. And we're just gonna plant it in the exact same way. Give it a little bit of space. It's also very drought tolerant and it's so delicious in soups and stews where you can marinate chicken with it, which we really enjoy. The thing about thyme is too, it's a real pollinator attractor. So you can let one of your plants bloom and just brings in the bees like crazy. got our first two herbs, rosemary and thyme, planted here in our kitchen garden. Those are our perennials. We're going to plant one more perennial at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. The third herb that we're going to plant today is parsley. Now parsley is what's called a biennial. It grows and produces the first year, comes back a second year, will grow and you can harvest it. But that second year that it comes back, it shoots up stalks, produces flowers and then seeds and will drop seeds all over your garden. So if you plant parsley, chances are the second year you don't have to plant it again. But I like to plant it both from a plant. This is from the Cali Kim Herb Garden Seed Collection and also from seeds. So we started these seeds indoors about six weeks ago. We're gonna dig a hole here, add some worm castings and get the plant in. And I think parsley is a really underrated herb. Um, a lot of people just use it for garnish, but it adds so much flavor to your food. We like it on scrambled eggs. And I also love to just snip it right into salads. So we're just gonna pull it out of this little transplanter pot, put it right in our hole, which I just put some worm castings in. And I also like to plant seeds at the same time. Parsley grows beautifully here in Southern California in the winter time, especially when you get lots of rain, it just starts popping up all over the garden from plants I had in the year before. And then I'm also gonna plant some seeds. Parsley is one of the six varieties in the Cali Kim Herb Garden Seed Collection. You can grab this over at calikimgardenhome.com and get your herb garden started. Now, one thing to know about parsley seeds is they do take a little bit of time to germinate. So hang in there, be patient. Sometimes they can take up to two weeks. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some parsley seeds here along the drip irrigation hose. I like to have plenty of parsley to throw in my salads. It's just such a wonderful, delicious herb and so, so aromatic too. So I'm just sprinkling the seeds in here. 
and I'm going to cover it with just a little bit of soil. The seeds are pretty tiny, so they don't need much. And then just kind of lightly tamp it down. Super, super easy to plant. Three herbs down, three to go. The fourth one we're going to plant is cilantro. Cilantro is such a tasty herb, typically used in Mexican dishes. I love it in fresh, homegrown salsa. It's so, so wonderful. Oh, and it smells so, so good. Now, cilantro looks very, very similar to parsley. It has a little bit more of a jagged edge to the leaves as parsley, but you do want to make sure that you mark your plants so you don't get them mixed up, but you can definitely tell the difference in how they smell. Oh, it smells so good. We're going to go ahead and get this cilantro plant in the ground. This again, I started from seeds from the Cali Kim Herb Garden Seed Collection. And cilantro loves the cool weather, 75 degrees or under, and will even tolerate some light frost, as will parsley. And you can plant it in the shade if you live in a warmer climate, but it does not like temperatures over 80 degrees. It tends to bolt. It will grow much, much better in the cooler weather. Now what I like to do with my herbs, especially the annual herbs like cilantro, is succession plant them. So I'll pop a plant in the ground right here, but then I also like to plant some seeds so that way you have herbs ready throughout the growing season and you never run out. I'm also going to pop some cilantro seeds in the soil here right next to my plant. Now you can see that cilantro seeds are quite a bit larger than parsley seeds. They have a hard outer shell, so they can also be very difficult to germinate. But I am going to give you a little tip to help them germinate faster. What you can do is either soak your seeds overnight to soften that outer shell, or what I like to do is just smash some up either with a rock or with a rolling pin. That way it breaks that hard outer shell and it helps them germinate faster. We're just gonna sprinkle some cilantro seeds right in the soil next to my cilantro plant. Again, be patient with your cilantro. It can take up to two weeks to germinate. The fifth herb that I love to have in my kitchen garden is also an annual, and that is dill. Dill is a feathery type of herb. It can grow up to a couple of feet tall. This is mammoth dill. So it'll look really nice along this back wall here to kind of fill in the space. So what I'm going to do is just sprinkle along the back of the garden bed. And again, it's an annual, which means it will grow the first year and then die off when it gets too cold. But what I found that here in Southern California, a lot of times dill will grow all year long, even in the heat. It definitely thrives in the cooler weather, but often in the heat it will produce those big beautiful dill flowers which you can use in dill pickles and the bees absolutely love them as well but it's a definite must have in your kitchen herb garden super super easy to grow the sixth herb is chives chives are also perennial and one of my very favorite herbs to grow because they're so so easy to grow in the cool weather in the winter here in southern california and also in the heat Chives are amazing because you can actually separate the clumps and then move them around your garden from year to year. So they definitely are a perennial and come back year after year. But I'm gonna actually plant some from seed today because I'm growing these inside in the winter time, right on my windowsill, but I love to grow chives outdoors as well. Chives make a really great edging plant, so I'm gonna plant them along the edges of this garden bed. They're gonna kind of spill over and I think they're gonna look so, so pretty. Super easy to plant. All you have to do, do, again, is pour them in your hand and sprinkle them. <laughs> and they don't take a very long time to germinate. So I'm just going to sprinkle them right along the drip irrigation hose to make sure they get plenty of moisture. They're really tiny little black seeds here. And if you have a neighbor who has some chive plants, you could ask them to divide their chive plant, give you a couple. Then you could plant some in your garden too for free. They also grow very well indoors in a container. We're gonna have lots and lots of chives. These happen to be onion chives, which give your food a slightly onion flavor, but there's also a garlic chive variety, which is really nice to grow too. And most often I just snip these into scrambled eggs, snip them into salads or soups. They just add such a delicious flavor to your food. You're gonna love growing chives. The last step to planting our kitchen herb garden is to water our new plants in. So we're going to give them a nice dose with a good dirt plant food, high in nitrogen, so it helps get them off to a good start with that green leafy growth. And then the Vermisterra worm tea. Pretty much use this all over my garden for all of my plants, and it really gets them off to a good start. This helps keep my plants healthy, 
and I pretty much feed everything with that throughout the growing season. Well, I'm really excited to have my little kitchen herb garden planted with my six favorite culinary herbs. I cannot wait to come out here and snip and clip these into dishes and recipes to give so much flavor to my food. Comment below, let me know if you're gonna plant a kitchen herb garden and grab my herb seed collection over at calikimgardeninhome.com. And don't forget to subscribe because as this fills in and grows, I'm gonna be coming back showing you how to harvest these herbs and how to use them in different recipes. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.